What is going on guys? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel Xenoheart13 here and Welcome to Tekken 8's release day And if you can't tell from the title of this video or the fact that I'm resting my hand on something Yes, we are officially doing the unboxing for the official Tekken 8 Premium Collector's Edition I finally received it today um, I'm super super thrilled I waited pretty much outside for uh, the local delivery, uh, which in my case was UPS. I waited outside for like at least two hours. As soon as I found out it was uh, in the, it was uh, on, um, what's the what's the word? It was on uh, out for delivery, right? As soon as it had that status, I waited outside. Um, pretty much just like watching the door and stuff like that. So it's pretty much, it's pretty much that, right? <laughs> Um, so yeah, this was, this was definitely much worth it. Uh, so without further ado, we'll jump straight into the unboxing from the intro. Alright guys, welcome back. Now, uh, I'm gonna be honest, first glance, I did not think that the collector's editions would be somewhat this small. I'm not saying... Like, you know, but I will say, I was kind of thinking that it would be about the same size as the Horizon Forbidden West type thing, but it's it's perfectly fine. There's not really much, there's not much stuff in this, but, you know. But, I got it for PlayStation 5, so you can expect some streaming. Um, on the front, we see Jin and Kazuya, Tekken 8 right there, ready T for Teen, developed by Bondi Namco. On the side, and this is honestly what I really like. They have on the side, on the left side, they have Jin, and on the right, they have Kazuya. So that is like a really cool feature. Then on the back, it shows you, of course, what comes in it. We get the premium box, which I am going to keep and keep in pristine condition. Um, <coughs> seal book featuring Jin and Kazuya. It's really cool. This. You know, the exclusive Jin figure, which is one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get this collector's edition. Because this, like, this figure actually glows with LED lights. So it's, like, it's amazing. It's it's so cool. Um, then uh, we got the arcade token. Uh, a Leroy Smith metal ring with velvet pouch. <clears throat> Eight glossy collectible cards. And... The full game with the Ultimate Edition content, which is, of course, includes the playable character year pass, uh, four additional playable characters, which, as we know, one of them is Eddie, uh, character costume, gold suit pack, avatar costume, uh, classic Tekken shirts, avatar skins, Kazuya, Jin, and June. Uh, <coughs> so it's really cool. I love everything that's included here. Um, it's rated T for Teen due to violence, suggested themes, and language. It's ready to, okay, and it's one to two players, it has network features 2 to 16, 90 gigabytes minimum, vibration function, English subs, and all that stuff. No, it, it has English voicing, I think, that's that's probably what that means, and subtitles are English, French, Spanish, and Brazilian, I think. <clears throat> but alright, let's just jump straight in, into this. I am super, super thrilled to actually officially say that I finally have my hands on this. Hang on, I gotta be very, hang on. I'm going to set you guys down to be looking at this real fast. Um, I need to carefully do this, not to damage the box. Okay. Uh, I got that open, that was a hassle. I'm not even gonna attempt to really do the stickers because nine times out of 10. Come on. Come on. Come on. And, oh my god, I was stressing. Okay, it's usually on the side. Hang on. Can I get this in one go without... No, I cannot. Okay, so this one is staying on there because I already started ripping the thing. Okay, so... Let's take this cover off. I love that this, I love the slip cover. So cool. Right there. 
And right already, as soon as you open the box and stuff like that, you just have that. So that's cool. And on the back is just Tekken 8. That's cool. So let's get into it. Yeah, I'm on. This is not one to... Okay. So, like literally as soon as... What the heck is that? I don't know. So as literally as soon as we open it, we are greeted with the official Tekken 8 game. That's good. We got the Ultimate Edition contents. And it expires in... In 2099, so... Very good, very good. Put that off to the side. Here's that an awesome steelbook. We have Kazuya and Jin. This is amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it has that. And then has the steelbook. Set that off right there because that is just that is just amazing. <clears throat> okay, what is this? Um, I think this is has I don't know, it has like a bunch of different stuff to do. I don't know, but alright. So alright, so that I'm guessing is the cards. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Okay. Okay, so we're so this is clearly gonna be a struggle. So we are just going to, um, give me one second, guys. Yeah, Come on. Okay. There we go. Yeah, set. Setting that off to the side since there's really nothing else to be done. Okay, so here is the everything that's included oh my god this gin figure is so cool and i didn't even notice it at first when i first saw the <coughs> the figure when they were announcing what the collector's edition will have i didn't even notice this but devil gin i generally well i guess like you know they're trying to like you know but all right so let's open this up and of course it's going to be taped so i'm going to have to set you you know what hang on guys Okay, so as it literally turns out, uh, this did not have any uh, tape on it. It was just snaps. So there's that. Um, so this, the Peace Day Resistance Gin. And as you can see, well, I don't really know if you can necessarily see it, uh, but it looks like, yep, 100%. Those are his double eyes. And here is the wing, where it goes. You can see it in all of its glory. And they did give me a USB, so but so I will be showing you what it uh how it lights up and stuff like that and how that looks as soon as you know as we sh share everything else. Uh so right here we have the Leroy Smith ring. So let me just if I can figure out how to freaking open this. Okay. Dang it. Okay, so I took everything out of their plastic wrap, like from the, the ring, the coin, and the cards. So I guess the first thing we'll see is the coin, the arcade token. Very well done. Take an eight. And then King of Iron Fist, it looks like right there. It's the arcade. I'm th thinking it has <coughs> something to do with like the arcade quest type thing, so... But that is honestly very awesome. Very, very good. And then right here we have the pouch with the ring inside. And has a little embroidered Tekken 8. Here's the Leroy Smith ring. I absolutely love this ring. It is like so cool. I don't really use Leroy. But, I don't know. I've seen some gameplay of him when his trailer dropped. And I I played a little bit of him in Tekken 7. So, um, you know, it's, it's really cool. Alright. Now, moving on. We have the 
character cards. We got Jin, Fighting Style Karate, Rage Art Polar Demon Gage, uh, Heat Smash Hellfire Trespass Slayer, Elias Lightning Fang, Kazuya Mishima, Mishima Style Fighting Karate, Demonic C Catastrophe, Omega Crash, Cold Blooded Oppressor. Oh, and it even also has the burning chain on the back of each card, so that's cool. Um, June, Kazama, Kazama style traditional martial arts, Amatsu Izanami, Rage Art, Heat Smash, Yo Yomatsu Uyumi, I'm probably mispronouncing that as heck, <coughs> Elias Light of Hope, um, Lars Alexanderson, one of, one of the, the, one of the best boys, Jin's, I think, half-brother, according to Tekken lore, I think he's like half-brother or adopted brother. Tekken Force Martial Arts, Fighting Style, Rage Art, Zeus Unlimited, Heat Smash, Thunderbird Descent, Elias, the Lion of the Rebellion. And, you know, he has a lion. He represents that lion. Nina Williams, Assassination Arts, Fighting Style, Rage Art, Death by Degrees, Heat Smash, Bullet Assassination, Elias, Silent Assassin. I honestly hope we get uh, Anna Williams in this game, because... I know she's not on the base roster, right? I know she's not. But I just really hope that, you know, since we're getting the essentially maybe the end of the father and son type deal, maybe we can do like get rid of this, like get rid of the sister feud next, you know? <laughs> Ling Xiaoyu, fighting style, uh, something based Chinese martial arts. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Rage Art Wang, Celestial Epic, Heat Smash, Divine Shooting Star, Elias, Dancing Phoenix. I like that. The Dancing Phoenix is cool. Claudio Safrino, Fighting Style Series, Exorcist Arts, Rage Art, La Luz de Serio, Heat Smash, Stella Candate. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And Elias, Banisher of Demons. He's like best friends with Zafina in this game, I think. And last but not least, Asuka Kazama. Fighting style. Kazama style traditional martial arts. So literally the same as June. You know, I wonder if it's like... So is she like Jin's sister? That's like the only thing that I've always wondered about that. Like, is Asuka... <coughs> because they share the same name, last name. Uh, Rage Art. Not on way, Peacemaker Knuckle. Heat Smash, Triple Ascension Kicks, and Elias... Or alias, I've been saying that so wrong. A <coughs> alias, <coughs> spirited peacemaker. Does use a peacemaker in this one? That's kind of funny. All right. So, uh, before we get into seeing what what Jin's all about with his devil wing, and I've already shown you guys this, so we're gonna set this one off to the side. We're gonna see the game. Tekken Eight. Side Tekken Eight. Fist meets fate. 32 playable fighters, aggressive new gameplay, and we pretty much already read all that from the back of this box. So um, so we got June, King, Azucena, and that looks like the new arcade quest. So, Alright, so I don't know if I can do this one with one hand, so give me one second. E. There we go. Okay. If any of you guys are also picking up Tekken 8, let me know, because I would honestly like to challenge you guys in an online battle. Okay, let's see. I need to make sure that there's no hidden codes. Okay, no, there's not. It's just probably just literally right over there. Okay, so as soon as you, like, you literally open it up, there's just a game disc right here. Nothing on that. Alright, so that's kind of cool. So there's, so there's that. And last but not least, we're saving the best for last, Jin Kazuma. So I will show you guys, I will, I'm going to attach this. Just give me one second. Okay, so he definitely becomes top heavy with this wing, 100%. So that is so cool. Let me, with the wing. This is definitely a well done figure, I can definitely tell. I love like the texture of the wing. You can feel like every individual feather. It's so cool. Okay. 
All right, guys. So I'm going to uh, give you a look of what it looks like when it is lit up. So give me one second on that one. And because I also got to turn off the light. So we will be showing you guys what it looks like when it's all, um, when it's, uh, you know, in its full glory, when it's uh, lit up with LED lights. So give me one second and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we officially have it all lit up. And let me just say, this is, let me just turn off the flash real fast. That is literally the coolest fucking thing I have ever seen. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus Christ. I am really glad I spent the money on this collector's edition because this does not disappoint, like, at all. This one probably, I'm not saying it will because I have faith in Sephiroth, but this one may even surpass, like, the Sephiroth figure that's going to be coming in the collector's edition for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm not sure. No, don't quote me on that. But yeah, guys. This uh, this is the statue, and I am 100% loving this, 100%. Um, I need to figure out a way to have this, you know, displayed in my collection, because now I need to find this, you know, I don't know. I'll think of something, don't worry. <coughs> Absolutely in love with how this looks. It's, it's, so, it's so brutal, it's so badass, I love it. But all right, guys, this has been the official unboxing for the Tekken 8 official premium collector's edition. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oop, that's kind of blocking it a little bit. Hope you guys actually enjoyed the unboxing video. Um, definitely look forward to me streaming it later tonight. I'm going to be doing a f the official part one um, of Tekken 8's story and maybe doing a few gameplay, maybe perhaps with Reyna. Devil Gen, pretty much everybody, not really everybody, but the majority of the people that that I didn't do for, that I didn't uh, get the chance to play as for, you know, all that other stuff. So look forward to it. And yeah, so look forward to the walkthrough or the let's play that I'll be doing. I probably won't be doing commentary. I'll be, I'll probably be putting, I probably won't be doing commentary during the story, but I will be doing it during like free play matches and maybe arcade quest, but look forward to that. Anyway, I'm Xenoheart13 and I'll catch you all. Actually, hang on guys. Before I decided to end the video, just wanted to let you guys know that I got officially new merch. Um, uh, like, you know, in regards to Tekken 8. And stuff like that. It has the same font. You can order it if you want to. Just let me know down, down in the comments below. And I'll tell you how to officially uh, get merch like that. And in celebration of that one. You know. Uh, there's also. Well I can't really. I don't think I can necessarily show you. Well hang on. I might be able to. Give me one second guys. Because there's something very special on the back of this hoodie. So look forward to that. So yeah, like in celebration of Tekken 8, you got uh, the 8 on the back. So yeah, so, so look forward to that. But anyway, this has been a very extraordinary uh, unboxing and let's, or not let's play, but all that stuff. So yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the Iron Fist tournament. We'll catch you later. Peace.